Scientists on Heard Island have determined that there is a maximum population of birds on the island on the 23rd of January of 900, and the minimum population occurs on the 23rd of July of 700. When will the bird population be 829? So um, we, we have to make some assumptions here straight up, which we'll build in, but what we need, to build a model, we need to know our A value, our B value, our C value, and our D value. The easiest way to find those values is to get them from the six common contextual features of a periodic function. So that is the amplitude, that's missing an M, sorry about that. Amplitude, peak, trough, midline, um, period, and phase shift. If you can work those things out, then you can work out your A, B, C, D easily, and then you've got a function. We just need to determine these. So, from that context, can anybody tell me any of these values? There's six of them there. Reggie. The peak is 900. The peak is 900. Excellent. Can anybody tell me another one, Chris? Amplitude 100. Say it again, sorry. Amplitude 100. M, the midline. Amplitude. The trough. A is 100, thank you, good. So I, I struggle to hear and you're hiding your head behind Alicia's head and I couldn't see your lips moving. Thanks. Um, does anybody know any other value? Midline is 800. Midline is 800. We're actually bordering on a point now where people are calculating these things. They're not in the context. So it doesn't say amplitude 100. Chris has determined that 900 to 700 Harvard, that's 100. Can we see where that amplitude comes from? The midline, Eddie's worked out the midline. Doesn't say 800 but it's the average between 900 and 700, or it's 900 minus an amplitude, or it's 700 plus an amplitude. Uh, the trough is 700, I'm gonna do that one. There you go, I've done my bit. And period and phase shift. Does anybody know the period or the phase shift? Reggie? Is the period seven, seven months? Say it again. Is the period seven months? Seven months? I don't think it is. Baxter? 12 months. I think it's about 12 months. But is it exactly 12 months? Yeah. Um, but it's January to July. Oh, yeah. Here's a question. Like it's not, this is not really going to happen, and I know it's a hard question, but here's a question where they're, they're really trying to express to you that this is, should be a six-month gap between peak and trough, yeah? So they're going 23rd of January to the 23rd of July. It doesn't get much more exact and precise for six months than that, except we all know that we've got, there might be some issues there. February is shorter and it's in one half. So we might actually find that with the 365 days in a year, 181 of them might be in the first half and 184 in the second half. So all of a sudden our period's not quite a year, or maybe it's a bit more than a year. We've got some issues there. What I'm gonna do is just make this an assumption. If I wanted to refine my model, and listen very carefully to this because you're doing a PSM2 right now, I make that, I'm going to assume the period's a year. If I want to refine my model, I might go back and do a bit more in-depth calculation now. I might work out how long in days exactly between the 23rd of January and the 23rd of July. But I'm not going to muck around with that now. The other issue is we don't know what year this is. It might be a leap year. Then you can go back and discuss, and this is PSMT now, how much of an effect does that have? If I make my period 12 months instead of 182 days times two, does that really significantly change my model? In the short term, probably not. So that's where you can, you can really get a good discussion going. Phase shift, does anybody know the phase shift? It could be one, I probably wouldn't use one though. No. There are two answers I would use, I'd be happy to take. You tell me which one you want me to use. Zero, I'd take zero. What assumption has Harvey made with zero? Or what assumption has Reggie made with one? If the phase shift is zero, when does time start? 23rd of January. And that's perfectly fine. If the phase shift was one, then time starts on the 22nd of January. Which, yeah. What other starting point would be reasonable if you wanted to include a phase shift? I, you could use 23 and say that time starts on the 1st of January. That, that would be a reasonable thing to do as well. You've got those two options. So I'd be happy with either of those options. Um, but let's go with the simple one, which is phase shift of zero. And therefore, time starts on the 23rd of January. 
Um, so I should write not equals starts on 23rd. Oh, geez, I'm just struggling here. 23rd of January. What this means is if we determine that the bird population was at 829 on day 122, we have to work out how many, what date is it, 122 days after the 23rd of January, not after the 1st of January. So our starting point has changed, and we've got to deal with that. But we will deal with that, that'll be fine. So what's our A value over here? 100. 100. What's our B value? Two pi over the period, which is, are we working in months or days? Mm, uh, months. Oh, past. Did somebody just say past? Days. I reckon, let's work in days. Life's going to be a bit easier in days. Because, you know, if you st once you start working in months, every month's got a different number of days. Well, not every month, but uh, they all vary, and that's a bit annoying. So let's work in days. 365 days in a year, we're assuming the period's a year. Um, what's our C value? C value is zero, that's our phase shift. What's our D value? 800, because that's our midline. So there's our, our connection here. I'll do this, I'll line some stuff up. That goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there, and our period goes to there. We don't need our peak and trough for this bit, but you will notice our peak and trough is what we use to get the amplitude and midline. So that's, they are helpful. And so my model is that the population of birds is equal to 100. Um, now, it was it did start at the peak, didn't it? Started at 900 on the 23rd of January. So I'm going to use a cos function because that starts at a peak. One, uh, 100 cos 2 pi over 365 bracket, oh, no, I don't need a bracket, um, times time, I'll put that in a bracket just to make sure, plus 800. That's my population varying function. And I want to know, when is the population, um, when is the population 829? That's now in a video. I've just struggled there a bit. Um, when is P equal to 829? And so now I'll just go through and solve this equation. Um, now what's going to happen here is I'm actually going to get an infinite number of answers. Remember the graph looks like this. The function varies between 900 and 700 and it starts at a peak and it goes up and down and up and down and up and down. When does it equal 829? There and there and there and there and there. It's going to continue to equal 829 because it's periodically moving up and down. So I'm just going to find the first answer. And it hasn't given me a domain, but that context is leading to when will the bird population be 829? I'm just going to find the first one. Um, and we'll go from there. So I just subtract 800, I get 29 equals 100 cos 2 pi on 365t. I get 0 0.29 equals cos 2 pi on 365t. And then I get um, 2 pi on 365t is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.29. And I'll do that cos inverse of 0 0.29. It's got 2 pi in it. I'm working in radians, so I need to make sure my calculator's in radians. Um, shift cos 0 0.29 gives me 1.2766, but I'm gonna keep my answer in my calculator for accuracy. And then I divide that by 2 pi over 365, and that's my t. Um, so I divided by 2 times shift pi, 5, and that gives me 74.158, which I'm really happy with because 829 bird population is before the midline on my graph, so I'm expecting it to happen in the first quadrant and 74 or 75 days is um, after that first quadrant. Oh, sorry, before the, the end of the first quadrant, it's before a quarter of a year. And so I'm going to work out the date that this occurs. 
Now you just notice here, and this is a really important conversation right now because it will happen to you in a lot of questions moving forward. 74 days, the population has not quite reached 829. 74 days is here, but not quite at that black dot because it's 74.158. So when does the first, when's the first time the population reaches 829? Mathematically, technically, it's in the 75th day. At the end of 74 days, so at the end of one day, you get to one. At the end of two days, you get to two. At the end of 74 days, you get to 74, but this doesn't happen until after the 74th day. So it's in the 75th day. So we're going to find the date for the 75th day. That will be our answer. Happens in that day. You could break this down into hours and minutes, but I'm just going to do it as a day. You, can, you might have to do that, but you, um, you probably won't. Um, so that 75 days from the 23rd of January. There's no easy way to do this because the months vary. I'm going to assume it's not a leap year because in a 75 chance chance it's not. And I'm just going to go ahead and find that 75 days. So January from the 23rd um, has an additional seven days, the 24th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 30th, 31st. So there was another seven days in January, um, eight days because the 23rd's counted actually. February has 28, March has 31. I'm going to accumulate this as I go. 8, 36, 67. So we're talking an April date. April has 30 days, but we want the 75th. So we want to know eight days into April. Um, so we want eight days, so that's 75. So it becomes the 8th of April. And that's our answer. So that during the day, early in the day, given, but during the day on the 8th of April, the population will get to 829. Um, we did have to make some comments. I'll record this, but I won't write it down because, it, as you can see, it takes me ages to write things down. Comment on the reliability of your solution. We've made a few assumptions. 12 months was an assumption, but I don't think that's significant. Um, we've made assumptions about it not being a leap year, but I don't think that's significant either. So the reliability is still there. It's a model for a bird population starting at 900, going down to 700, back up. You've probably talked about the predator prey model in science. It does kind of happen periodically, but also not really. So it's probably a, not a very good model for this situation. That does affect our liability, and I think that's pretty significant. Um, and lastly, no, I've lost that thought. There we go. Bell, thanks. I'll do the other two over the next few weeks, um, and I'll continue to check homework on Friday. Thanks.